Hello everyone I welcome you all in the class of English language Now students we will study today synthesis of sentences chapter of grammar Synthesis of sentences simple and compound sentences combination of two or more sentences into a single compound simple or complex sentence right so we are first going to learn about simple sentence there are six methods to combine two or more simple sentences into a single simple sentence first is by using participle participle is a form is a word you know is made from a verb right it is a for another form of verb which is used either as an adjective or as a noun in a sentence so how we use it in combining more than two simple sentences he jumped up he ran away so we we combine it as jumping a participle jumping up he ran away right i saw a ghost i fled away seeing a ghost i fled away right so in this manner we used to use a participle the second method is by using noun or phrase in a position a position means before so i love rita she is my best friend i love my best friend rita so, so rita is your best friend so you have used this i love my best friend rita next is by using preposition with a noun by using nominative absolute the factory caught fire the stock was burned to ashes the factory having caught fire the stock was burned to ashes right so we have used nominative absolute which simply means we have used the having word and we have connected these two sentences right the next way is by using infinitive i have some work i must do it i have some work to do this is simple okay by using adverb or adverbial phrase he expected to qualify he failed he failed unexpectedly we have used this word expected as an adverb here so this is how we use an adverb or adverbial phrase to make more than two sentence simple sentence into one simple sentence he failed unexpectedly i hope it is clear now we move to synthesis of a compound sentence two or more simple sentences can be combined into a single compound sentence by using coordinating conjunctions like and but neither nor etc so there are examples we have already read this but uh, it is another topic so i have to explain it again he is studious he likes badminton so we will use he is studious but he also likes badminton so we have used but here as a conjunction to connect it and make it a single compound sentence besides conjunctions to make two or more simple sentences in as a compound sentence and this is all about synthesis of uh, of more than one simple sentences to a simple sentence and a compound sentence so now i'm going to share you a from one video about this look at it synthesis is the method of combining two or more simple sentences to form a single sentence simple compound or complex sentences can be combined by using adjectives phrases relative clauses adverbs infinitives prepositions conjunctions or participle phrases two or more simple sentences can be combined to form one simple sentence a compound sentence or a complex sentence in different ways by using the rules mentioned below combining simple sentences to form a compound sentence synthesis of simple sentences into a compound sentence can be done by using coordinating conjunctions and not only but also either or neither nor but yet however therefore though although for or so look at these set of simple sentences and note how the conjunctions have been used for the purpose of synthesis one i went to the market 
I bought a loaf of bread and fresh cheese. I went to the market and bought a loaf of bread and fresh cheese. 2. Misha loves flowers. Her wedding hall was decorated with pansies, orchids, marigolds and tuberoses. Misha loves flowers. Therefore, her wedding hall was decorated with pansies, orchids, marigolds and tuberoses. Combining simple sentences to form a complex sentence. Synthesis of simple sentences into a complex sentence can be done by using a noun clause, an adjective clause or an adverb clause. By using a noun clause, a noun clause that is used for synthesis of sentences functions as a noun in a complex sentence. It may be in a position of a subject or an object. The conjunction used to introduce a noun clause is that. Examples Parikshit will return the money in a couple of days. This is his promise. Parikshit has promised that he will return the money in a couple of days. The music class will happen next week. The teacher announced it in the class. The teacher announced that the music class will happen next week by using an adjective clause. An adjective clause may be used for combining sentences. It does the work of an adjective and gives more information about the noun in the principal clause of a complex sentence. Examples Sitting next to me was a naughty child. He spoiled his clothes with chocolate. Sitting next to me was a naughty child who spoiled his clothes with chocolate. This is the house I spent my most of my childhood here. This is the house where I spent most of my childhood. By using an adverb clause, we can combine two simple sentences into a single sentence by changing one of the sentences into an adverb clause of time, place, reason, condition, purpose, result, comparison or contrast and using subordinate conjunctions like although, if, so that or while to introduce the clause. Examples We watched the robins. They raised their young ones in our apple tree. We watched the robins while they raised their young ones in our apple tree. There is a sale. I will buy two pairs of shoes instead of one. I will buy two pairs of shoes instead of one if there is a sale. We are taping your statement. It can be used as evidence. We are taping your statement so that it can be used as evidence. So dear students, I hope that you have understood this chapter in a very well manner so that I have shown you this video also so it can help you a lot. Now it's the time to do your exercises of this chapter synthesis. We will meet in next chapter now. Till then, stay safe, stay blessed. Thank you students. Bye-bye.